In the 70s, numerous actresses graced the screen. Some even kept on acting most of their lives. Others have become a thing of the past. So how are these 70s screen celebrities doing today? Before we continue, make sure to click that subscribe button and comment down below I subscribed to see a cool magic trick. Olivia Newton-John Olivia Newton-John has made early progress as a vocalist. With outline-beating tracks like Come On Over and Please Mr. Please, these hits got her cast in 1978's Grease, where she turned into an undeniable famous celebrity. Now, this amazing actress has got back to her beginnings as an Australian artist. She has broadly toured throughout Asia. Goldie Hawn Goldie Hawn has become well known as the It Girl on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In during the 1960s. By the 70s, she was showing up in films like Shampoo and Butterflies Are Free. By 1979, she was in the film industry flops like Lovers and Liars. She recuperated during the 80s. Goldie Hawn saw significant triumphs all through the 80s and 90s, yet she took a rest all through the 2000s. The last component that she was featured in was the Banger Sisters in 2002. She made an appearance as a voiceover actress in the ongoing work on the widely known cartoon series Phineas and Ferb. Raquel Welch at the end of the 60s, Raquel Welch had just started her acting career. In 1970, she collaborated with Tom Jones for an extraordinary television show called Raquel. It cost millions to deliver and was shot everywhere across the world. It made her a global image. Today, Raquel Welch is still shocking us with her TV appearances. She keeps on acting, showing up in a scene of CSI Miami. She has additionally worked with Macintosh beautifying agents on a line of different products. Carrie Fisher Carrie Fisher made her presentation in the 1975 parody Shampoo, two years before participating in Star Wars as Princess Leia. She was additionally in many made-for-television films all through the 70s. Nowadays, Carrie Fisher has moved her acting work more towards parody. She voices on Family Guy as Dwindle Griffin's manager and has shown up on the roast of William Shatner. The actress has additionally gotten back to the stage with her one lady show, Wishful Drinking. Fisher is relied upon to continue acting in future Star Wars films. Faye Dunaway Faye Dunaway came into full step during the 1970s, participating in widely praised films like The Towering Inferno and Chinatown. She effectively played a wide scope of characters all through her profession. Dunaway keeps on acting, yet in more modest made-for-television motion pictures like Hallmark Channel's A Family Thanksgiving and Midnight Bayou. She keeps on being a symbol, consistently associated with her scary role as Joan Crawford in the 1981 film Mommy Dearest. Jody and Courage During the 70s, Jody and Courage was a child star. She showed up in television shows like The Partridge Family and Paper Moon. Her widely praised performance in Taxi Driver put her on the way towards turning into a genuine entertainer. Jody and Courage keeps on acting today. She shows up in non-mainstream films like The Beaver and Roman Polanski's Carnage. In 2013, she was given the Golden Globes Award. Angelica Houston John Houston's dad helped Houston get her into acting during the 60s. In the 70s, she showed up in a couple of movies, like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and gave an amazing performance in The Swashbuckler. She made further progress during the 1980s. Angelica Houston's profession keeps on blasting. She has shown up in a few acclaimed Wes Anderson films, like The Life Aquatic, The Royal Tenenbaums, and The Darjeeling Limited. Sigourney Weaver during the 70s, Sigourney Weaver made a name for herself in widely praised films like Annie Hall and Serpico. By 1979, that experience helped her to get a job featuring an outsider. She turned into an undeniable star by the 1980s. Sigourney Weaver keeps on acting in blockbusters, releasing films like The Cabin in the Woods and Avatar. Rather than acting, she proceeds with her significant work in charity. Linda Carter Linda Carter showed up on Starsky and Hutch during the 70s. She didn't become fully famous up until she played Wonder Woman in 1975. The show would continue to air until 1979. Today, Linda Carter keeps on acting, 
She has shown up on Two and a Half Men and Smallville. The actress has additionally delivered two additional collections, Crazy Little Things and At Last. Diane Keaton. In 1972, Diane Keaton made her first film debut in The Godfather. During the 70s, she became famous for her comedic work with Woody Allen. Diane showed up Sam, played again, Love and Death, and Sleeper. In 1977, she won an Academy Award for her amazing acting skills. Keaton keeps on acting. In 2013, she showed up in a film called The Big Wedding. She likewise invests her time in photography. Diane has also accomplished charity work in the Los Angeles Conservancy to help in the protection of historical structures. Barbara Hershey Hershey's acting career started during the 60s, yet she turned into a commonly recognized name during the 1970s. In 1972, she showed up in Martin Scorsese's film Boxcar Bertha, and later guest stowed on the show Kung Fu with David Carradine. Barbara Hershey keeps on acting today. She made an appearance in Black Swan, ABC series Once Upon a Time, and the horror film Insidious. Jessica Lange in 1976, Jessica Lange made her film debut in King Kong, which won her the Golden Globe Award. In 1979, she showed up as the Angel of Death in Bob Fosse's All That Jazz, a role that was explicitly composed for her. Jessica Lange still routinely acts. Most recently, she appeared on American Horror Story. She has even delivered a few books on photography and has had presentations displaying her work. Jessica is additionally a generosity minister for UNICEF. Which one of these amazing actresses from the 70s is your favorite? Tell us by commenting down below. While you're still here, do yourself a favor and hit that notification bar to get notified for more future video uploads.